Good morning, you guys. Welcome or welcome back to the vlogs. Today, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for my little productive morning routine. And first things first, other than me posting my YouTube video for today, I always make the bed as soon as I wake up. I just feel so much better once the bed is made, so let's do it. We got these new striped sheets a little bit ago, and I put them on the bed last night, and oh my gosh, you guys, they're so soft. I'm obsessed with them. They're just like actually amazing. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'll link them below because seriously, they're so cheap, like for nice sheets, and they were so soft. I will say I haven't washed them yet, so we'll see how that turns out, but first impressions, they're pretty great. I'm kind of sad because it's really gloomy out, and usually part of my favorite type of morning routine would be to lay out in the sun with the girls for a while, but it's storming all morning, and I feel like that's just not the vibe for today. So we're gonna have to find another way to boost some serotonin this morning. That looks so much better. So I did brush my teeth already because I have to do that literally the second I rise out of bed because otherwise I feel disgusting. So that is taken care of. Set to the bathroom and do some skincare. I feel like some morning skincare always makes me feel better. So here's what we have to choose from. I think we're gonna do quite a bit today. Let's start with these Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Pads. I have been loving these. First of all, they smell amazing, but they also just make my skin texture feel so much better. So gonna go in with these first just because it's a pad and I feel like if I did this after any other skincare step I'd basically be wiping it away so if I'm gonna do a resurfacing pad I always do it first perfect I feel like it always you can tell it's working because it feels like kind of tingly but like cooling I love it I'm gonna go in with this Curology dark spot serum mostly because I have a darker spot here where I had that acne a couple weeks ago and I want to try to start getting rid of it because the acne itself is fully cleared up but still have a pretty big dark spot there so we're gonna just do a little spot treatment there i don't know if i should have done this before that spot treatment but i'm gonna go in with the edam cashmere peel gentle exfoliating toner this stuff feels amazing as well basically just put a little bit onto a cotton pad it has like almost a milky texture it's super cool and then you just wipe it all across the face and because i'm using this toner now i'll have to make sure i'm applying extra sunscreen today because if you're using like an exfoliant, you always want to make sure to use SPF if it's on during the day. Just for a little extra fun step, we're going to spray on this Tower 28 SOS spray. This is one of those skincare products that I will reapply throughout the day if I'm feeling like a little sweaty or gross because it's just antibacterial and it helps avoid breakouts. All right, now I want to go in with my Doe Reusable Eye Mask. You guys have probably seen me use these before. They're so fun and just so beautiful. So I'm going to do these and then do the Origins Ginseng Eye Gel Cream underneath of them. We're going to let those sit for like maybe 10 minutes and then we'll come back and finish up the skincare. First, I'm going to apply this eye cream underneath, but obviously not rub it fully in. It just smells so fresh. I love it. And then we'll just go ahead and put these reusable eye masks over it. so cute these are just precious like i'm actually obsessed with them Alrighty, while these are sitting let's go make ourselves a drink so we're gonna be making a berries and cream matcha latte <laughs> um so obviously most important ingredient is the matcha we're using the fire belly tea matcha this stuff is so freaking good and it's ceremonial grade it's just delicious always gotta add a little bit of unsweetened vanilla almond milk because i don't like adding all cream i like having a little bit of almond milk in there as well and then i just got this actually it's the bridgerton international delight creamer i bought it and i thought it was just like cute packaging i thought it was just like plain creamer but it's berries and cream creamer so this will be perfect for this drink i'm excited to try this i haven't even opened it yet so today will be our first try of it and of course since it's already berries we're gonna use this strawberry whipped cream mostly because i kind of want to finish it because we've had it for a long time i know whipped cream stays good for a long time but it kind of just scares me because it's cream how is it gonna really stay good for that long probably because there's a bunch of chemicals and stuff in it but Either way, I'd like to finish that up because it has been open a while. So anyways, I'm just gonna start this little kettle, make sure the water starts warming up. I really, really need to get a matcha whisk and bowl so I can properly make matcha because obviously you're not supposed to be using like a little, <laughs> a 
electric mixer but this is what we got for now so i'm gonna mix the matcha in this little espresso cup and then mix it up and then we'll pour it over the milk but while the water is warming up let's prepare the rest of the drink like i said i like to use quite a bit of almond milk just because like it makes it a little less sweet which don't get me wrong i love a sweet drink but i don't want it too sweet otherwise it just doesn't feel right you know Okay, now we're gonna go in with our berries and cream creamer. That was a lot. <laughs> I mean, it smells delicious. Actually, you know what it smells like? The animals. <laughs> anyway, let's start preparing the little matcha. It's just so green. Do you see that? It's crazy. Kettle is heated. It's boiling. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of water into this espresso cup quick just so that the matcha doesn't all stick to the bottom. And then we're just gonna grab a little scoopful of matcha and throw that in the water, like so. And then we're just gonna go in and mix it. And then once this is pretty well mixed, I'll add more water in here. Perfect. And then we're just gonna continue mixing up that matcha. Okay, now that the match is done, let's throw it on in. And then we'll do a little bit of strawberry whipped cream on top. That is so good. Also, just like how cute are these little cherry straws? I love them so much. This is probably one of the best like homemade matchas I think I've ever made. Anyways, let's go finish this skincare. So the super cool thing about these eye masks is you just take them off, rinse them, and then you can just reuse them again. I just leave them in their little tray open in my cabinet until they dry out and then I'll close it again. As you can see, most of that eye cream soaked in, but I'm just gonna rub in the remainder. I didn't get a chance to fully soak into the skin. Perfect. Now, what we're gonna do is go in with some SPF and also some fake tanner, just because my body is actually pretty tan right now, just because I've been outside a lot. But with my face, I'm so careful about always applying sunscreen to it, so it never like catches up to my body, which is okay. So we're just gonna go in with some fake tanner. This is a <laughs> super old fake tanner I have that it came in a broken bottle, so I just put it in its new little bottle and put a label on it. It's from the brand Naily, N-A-E-L-I. I hate the smell of this tanner so much. I actually gave the other bottle of it to my mom because I couldn't stand it. I'm not a waster and I like to finish my products. So I've been forcing myself to go through this and it's almost gone finally. So let's use this today. And because I'm applying it in the morning, it won't be as bad. I feel like it's just worse when I put self tanner on at night and then I have to lay in bed and smell it all night. So at least it's during the day. So I won't be sitting and focusing on the smell. So I'm gonna mix it up with this Mirad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier Broad Spectrum SPF 45. And I'm just gonna mix a little bit of this SPF with a little bit of the tanner. And then we'll just apply it all over the face. Oh God, the smell. <laughs> you guys, I've always been so sensitive to smells and tastes. Like when I was little, I would literally have my mom wash lettuce like six times before I would eat it because I could taste the dirt on it. Like if it wasn't fully washed well enough, which I'm sure it was like, it was washed by the grocery store. It was washed by my parents and I would still make them rewash it a bunch because I just like could taste it. And I'm just as sensitive with smells. So I kind of wish that wasn't the case, but at the same time, hopefully that means I don't smell because I can smell things so much that I'm like so self-conscious about always smelling good. So, I mean, that's the bright side of it, but it is very frustrating when no one in the room smell like a bad smell you're smelling and it literally can ruin an occasion for me because it smells so bad. Two birthdays ago, I went to my birthday dinner with Tanner's family and oh my god the restaurant smelled so bad it smelled like bar mats that hadn't been cleaned well enough and no one else said they could smell it but like that's all i could smell the whole meal i literally couldn't eat my food because it was like making me sick so really wish my sense of smell wasn't so crazy but it is this sunscreen is literally so amazing it doesn't make you feel like sticky and greasy so i've been loving this Murad one Okay girls, well that is what we're gonna do for skincare. We're calling it there.
Now what I would usually do on a normal morning is try to finish any chores I have for the day, just like household chores because I like to get those done as soon as possible so then I have the rest of the day to work on social media stuff and just like kind of relax with the girls. Let's do some chores. I know we have dishes and laundry. Starting the day with your chores literally makes you feel so productive and I feel like I honestly just get even more done throughout the day if I start the morning like being productive rather than just like laying in bed and watching TikTok, which don't get me wrong, I did that for like 20 minutes this morning, but I actually forced myself to get up and get my morning started and I just know I will feel so much better the rest of the day. While I'm doing these chores, like the laundry and the dishes, I'll probably start listening to an audiobook on my phone just because I've been obviously very into audiobooks recently and listening to them while you're doing chores is like such a perfect combo because it feels like you're getting a lot of stuff done obviously because you're doing chores but like you're also being entertained the whole time. Just finished all my chores, did all the laundry, put all the dishes away, and I actually just started another load of laundry, so I'm feeling very productive. Alrighty girls, well, that pretty much concludes my little productive morning routine. I just got dressed, and I'm gonna start my work day now, which is just editing a bunch of videos, probably filming some more TikToks and things like that, and I have a whole bunch of flip packages per usual coming in, so. That's probably gonna take up the rest of my day. So I'm glad I was able to get like a good jump start on everything this morning with a super productive routine. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was fun filming it with you guys. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys, Illy.